Guys, what is going on today? We are about to take this unit, which I completely butchered in the last episode, and I'm about to put on a brand new custom unit. This one is from Levivid Hair. We'll talk about the details later. This video is sponsored by Levivid Hair, who I got the system from. Make sure you click the link down below if you want a special discount on any hair system or systems. Now to the video. All right, guys, so I just got back from the stylist right now, and I gotta say, this is probably one of the best looks that I've ever had. I think he did such an amazing job. I'm really excited to show you. That's why I'm wearing the hat right now. Making you wait just a little bit longer. But before we talk about it, I do want to tell you what this system actually is. What I ordered as a custom unit. So that way you guys know you can ask for a custom unit like this or start looking for other types of units that are similar. So let's talk about the specifics of the custom unit. This particular unit, is a poly lace hybrid. So this system is like one of those that I've been talking about for a long time that's got poly all the way around. It's actually got a cross section in the middle and then four quadrants of lace. Now the reason that I like this, if you haven't seen my older videos, is because you get the advantages of the poly. Namely, what I think is some of the best hairline that's out there. Some people think Swiss lace is better but poly is pretty dang good. But the poly is so much easier to clean. We're talking about really minutes to do and lace takes a substantial amount of time to clean properly. So cleaning it is way, way easier. Now, one of the advantages of the hybrid though that you get is the breathability of the lace. So these four quadrants in the middle allow for heat to escape. So if you're living an active lifestyle or you live in a pretty hot area this is a good way for you to kind of balance the two advantages of both the cross section design that i have on this hair system is what i really love because what you often get with hybrid systems is just a big lace interior like that and when you're either laying down on the couch something like that you feel the system scrunch up because that part of the system is not uh, adhered to your head with this having that cross section you can put some tape down on the poly in the center and you don't have any of that action it stays put no matter what you're doing there's no scrunch there's no weird feeling like that so overall i think it's the best option for people to wear if you need to have a little bit more breathability i think it's the best mix better than just pure lace better than just pure poly if you don't need that breathability, if you're not working out a lot, if you're not living in a hot environment, I think a really thin skin poly is better though. Now, this poly is a little thicker. It's I think about 0.05 millimeter as opposed to like a 0.03, which is super duper thin and has the best hairline look. So it's a little thicker, but it's still good. Now, I did something interesting with this unit as well. I actually cut in my own recession into the hairline. So instead of that classic kind of C cut right here, which kind of looks like a semicircle, if you will, I actually cut a little bit of recession into this hair system manually, which I think looks amazing. I'm really curious about your feedback and you know if you think I should keep on doing this or if you wanna see more hair systems that are cut kind of like this. Next up, this has some very, very light highlights. This is not like my last system, which had that extremely obvious blonde highlights throughout it. This is a little bit more balanced and a little bit more natural, but the haircut for this guys is pretty dang awesome. It's really pushing what I think are the limits, at least for myself, of what I thought was possible for haircuts with a hair system. I've decided to get like bolder and step out and to be like a little bit more fashionable, a little bit more trendy, go with more of a fade. And I really think that my barber killed it. So let me get this hat off. Let's look at the hair system. And I want you guys to tell me what you think, okay? So this is the new hair system. This is the new cut. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little turnabout, that way you can see what the overall look is. Now, I just had this done last night, and I've gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite looks. For a long time, I felt like I've had to be pretty conservative with hair systems, meaning that the hairstyles that I'm choosing are designed to mask and hide the hair system. 
I'm wearing my hair on the sides a little bit longer to create better blends with the actual hair from the hair system. I don't know if it's just because I found an incredible stylist that knows how to blend hair and knows how to do amazing fading, but I think that this is really starting to push the edge of what I thought was possible for hair systems and making them look extremely believable, but extremely clean. Now, another thing that's brand new for this system that I've talked to you guys about is the fact that I've added a little bit of custom recession to this hair system. Now, what I did is I took that front CC template and CC is the standard kind of half circle shape that most stock systems come with and essentially cut in what might be a little bit more natural recession for someone who is my age, 29. There is a little bit of a difference in the recession, if you can see up here, that I've cut back as opposed to a CC would kind of give me this look over here. So that's brand new and I think it's helped a lot inside of the overall look. Now I wanna give a big shout out to Vivid who made this unit and it's custom with about 90% density, which is on the lighter side of anything that I've ever done, which by the way, looks amazing and fantastic. I'm not so sure that anybody should have anything over this density put on their head. If we contrast it to this video, which is what I was wearing just a couple days ago, and we can see what the density does to my actual head. It just makes it look big and puffy, not so real. Now that may be an okay look if you're in your early 20s, but as you start to age, not many people have that hair. And your hair on the sides and back need to be able to support that, meaning that it needs to have that natural volume and density to it. If it doesn't have that, it's just not gonna look right. It's not gonna look right. I've made the mistakes myself. I have worn bad styles in the past, sometimes because of the systems that were available because of COVID, and sometimes because I just wanted a thicker unit. I mean, you guys can judge and you know tell me what you think down below, but I'm pretty confident nobody on the street would be able to know that I'm ever wearing a hair system just by walking past me. It's natural, it's pretty unbelievable. It's a good look. So this is a custom unit from La Vivid. Make sure you check out the link below if you are interested in getting a discount off any one of their stock orders, they'll hook you up. And you know, let's do this thing.